Nomad, this is Bowman. Been a long time. You probably weren't expecting to go back to Aroa so soon. Let me set the scene. The U.S. Army never landed. Ships have been deployed to blockade the archipelago's perimeter. Every major nation is represented, with fingers on the trigger for whoever dares to claim control over Aroa's technological resources. Sounds like a grand old tropical paradise, doesn't it? The CIA's been covertly working with the outcasts and their leader Haruhi Ito to declare Aroa a free and autonomous nation. Our solution? We send the ghost to deal with the inevitable sentinel resistance that'll arise while leaving no trace of our involvement. You, old friend, will help the outcasts win their independence. Feel fancy yet? We do this right, and maybe we won't have another motherfucking shit show like Bolivia. Clearing up all that shaved a decade off my already charmed existence. I don't care for a repeat. Operation Motherland will begin the moment you meet up with Ito at the outcast camp. Good luck. Win Aroa her future. And try not to get killed. Right, so we have our team ready and waiting here. So obviously we need to, well that probably should, we should be a bit careful where we are going. We are carrying- Nomad, got in. Surprisingly you missed this place. Over. It's great to be working with you again, Nomad. Good times. New day, same old shit. Stay undetected while you make your way to Ito and the outcasts. Liberation should be easy with Sentinel and the Wolves leaderless and exhausted. The good news is, building an independent Aroa will be a breeze now that all parties have given the green light, including Skell's blessing. The only condition Ito gave to the CIA was that you be involved with the transition. Be discreet. U.S. forces cannot be seen on Aroan soil. Great to be back in action, Bowman. The outcast main base is nearby. Do a recon before heading to the base. There's an observation point just in front of you. That way you can better plan your approach. Alright, so... Let's stay covert and advance. Now, I must admit I'm a little bit doubtful about the entire idea of essentially just rebooting the storyline. I feel that it's a little bit strange. I'm at the observation point. The outcast camp's been attacked. A lot of dead. The place is still crawling with enemies. Fucking Sentinel. Continue the recon without leaving the observation point. You can't reveal your presence. We need to find Ito. Alright, so... Let's not stay on the ridgeline, then. Let's move into the... Forest here. I must say that in a way, Heartland seems a lot like um, it caters to the people who just want Wildlands too. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I am saying that that is my first impression of it. And like I said, it's not necessarily a bad thing, uh, but I feel it comes at the price of not concluding the story properly. I mean, last time we were here, there was still a lot of Sentinel that for some reason hadn't just surrendered or quit. There were wolves who, for some reason, either didn't take charge or did what the hell they wanted, essentially. Uh, some of the storylines also depleted Sentinel's numbers in an interesting way. And not to mention the Rainbow Six cameo that essentially proved that anyone can get on and off a ROA. And uh, basically that point has never been resolved. In case you forgot, the original version why people could not get on and off a ROA was that the drones had es essentially become autonomous. That the drones could no longer be controlled. And that's why you couldn't get off the island. And suddenly everyone and their mother could get on and off the island. Except you. 
So apparently we were extracted and now we are sent back in. The new story makes kind of sense. I don't think any country would uh, want to um, leave Aroa's resources in another person's hands. But let's get going with the story, shall we? Bukharov was the last of them. Interesting. Russia must have gathered rogue Bodarks for Black Ops. This situation's new and dangerous. Dead outcasts. This was a cruel attack with a lot of casualties. Any location there? Evil's place is surrounded by bodies. This was the epicenter of the fight. They must have come to capture Ito. That soldier's near invisible. Last time I saw this was in Bolivia. They're a real complication. But you should be able to see them using thermal vision. Did you find Ido? She's not here. If they got her or too many outcasts die, conquest will be impossible. It's looking more and more like Operation Motherland is compromised. I gotta find Ito. Can't let her down. Fine, but if Ido was dead, you have to escape Aroa before it falls. And if she's alive? We'll have to wait and see. First, secure the outcast camp. It's the only way to find intel on what happened to Ito. Copy. No matter. Copy. We are going in. Most likely these amateurs do not expect there to be any competition here. For some reason. Two by the helicopter. Move in. Watch the flanks. We'll set up a base of fire by the tree. We'll get a much better look at him. Tango's down. Two more. Enemies carrying armor, making this a little bit tr trickier. Tango's down. Keep it going. We'll clear out the spooky friends at the harbor first, while we still have a lock on them. Tango's down. Keep it moving. Tango's are carrying Russian Special Forces weapons. Let's grab whatever resources and intelligence we can. Watch out. Five ta four or five tangos up ahead. Set up for sniper shot. Let's go. Take him out. Go. Tango down. Flash it. Tango down. Bowman, this is Nomad. The outcast camp is secure. No trace of Ito, dead or alive. We'll proceed with caution, but if Ito is dead? The only option will be for us to retreat. Your main objective is to conquer the region and save Ito. Start striking at the boat arcs you find. It's clear that they've invaded the island, and they are our most pressing obstacles. There are several destabilization missions to support the primary objective. You can attack and destroy some boat arc VHC to reduce the boat arc's drone presence in the region. There's also a prison where captured outcasts have been gathered. If you free them, you might get intel on Ito, and simultaneously, have possible reinforcements when the time comes to claim the region. Besides, the Bodarks unsurprisingly control the Parliament. Securing the Bodark checkpoint adjacent to it should encourage the outcasts to unite once and for all and push them to fight. I'm on it. No matter. So, a little bit of RP going on here because if this is three months later, then my Nomad really, really got a shave and he probably replaced his broken 
t-shirt as well. So I have applied some changes to the gear and uh, we are now ready to move in and let's hit the deck before that helicopter spots us. And um, essentially just made sure that Nomad looks more like he's actually prepared for the mission at hand rather than just oh they got curious far too curious for our own good switching the night vision all right let's go interesting oh nice I'm not sure that IR flashlight was there earlier, but I do know that the peck boxes on the gun does support such a thing. So it's a really nice thing to have. I mean, that's... Oh, fuck. Drone. Let's hit the deck again. It's flying over us now. Apparently this is not it's not going to be easy approaching this facility. All right. Copy that. Let's keep moving towards the facility. We still have to cross this chasm and hope that whatever night vision Detection that these guys have is insufficient. We also need to move. Oh, come on. Another helicopter? I think that helicopter might not be onto us. I mean, we should be pretty safe here in the chasm. So as long as our esteemed teammates don't reveal us, we should be good. We can also start climbing up here and making our way towards the objective. Hopefully they won't be expecting us to come through this direction. We're almost at the helipad. And uh, we need to get the lay of the land before we proceed. So we got one helipad here with a um, helicopter. We also got numerous tangos in and around the facility itself. So we need to extract those. We might also need to take out some of the stationary weaponry. Uh, outer perimeter doesn't appear to be too severe, uh, that's two or three mounted weapons we need to disable, and that's about it. Night vision on. Let's go. The problem with doing this kind of raid in a clandestine, st a clandestine style is that nobody is ever going to believe that the outcasts are behind it. A operation such as this one is more in the style of special forces. And... Uh, yep. Tango down. Keep it going. We will circle the building and disable any stationary weapon before we proceed inside. At least one tango. Tango down. Tango. Shit, I hope they didn't hear that. It's a... F Pretty remarkable sound. Alright, thanks for the scan. We got him. Got at least one signalist. Tango's down. Let's go for... He's gone. Let's 
Tango down. I don't think we are compromised just yet. Stationary weapon disabled. We'll move on to the mortar. Disable and destroy any personnel in our way. God damn to Chanka! Enemies are here. I repeat, enemies are here. Shut the hell up! Thank you. Let's disable that mortar before they get the cute ID to start using it. Alright, we compromised. We are de most definitely compromised. Not that that is going to help the boat arc any. Move. Yeah, we are defi most definitely compromised. We'll see if there is any. Tango down. There should be at least one tango in and about this cell block, but we might have to um, open up a door or two in order to get there. Tango down. Keep it going. Remove the suppressor. We might need the extra mobility in these close quarters. Alright. Perimeter seems clear. Or clear enough. Doors open. Clear. Doors open. Let's evacuate. Oh, thank God. No man. Follow me. I'll keep you safe. Second objective across the hall. She's alive, but she was hurt in the attack on the camp. I don't know where she is, but the Bodarks will want to interrogate her. Alright, so we got at least one more to evacuate. Drop here. Let's get him out of there. Who are you? Nomad. I'm here to save you. The legendary nomad who killed Walker and Stone. The fight lives on. I can't wait to join it. Tango down. Alright people, we are live and loud. So let's get these people out of here. God damn it, what's your sector? You can't just come running out of me like that. You do that and it's a tick to get shot. Now where did they put the stairs in this thing? I mean, talk about confusing the sign. Right, we good. Let's just make sure we have everyone. Good. We can grab some intel off the office right here. We got the intel. Good show.
All right. Extraction point is 200 away. Let's go. I don't know if we need to actually fly them there or if we can just do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah, we do it the old-fashioned way. Come on, let's go. Evacuation commencing. Rally up. Let's move. All right, there's a helicopter standing by here. We'll deliver these people and we should be good. What happened? Do you have any info on the Bodarks? I'd never seen them before the attack. They're brutal. Sentinel and the wolves are taking orders from them. I have no idea what they did with Eo. I can help you fight the Bodars. But first, you need to regroup and resupply. I may need your help when it comes to freeing Eo. Alright, so that was the first assignment in Operation Motherland. So, that actually looks like this could be a lot of fun. So, let's keep this up and see where the road takes us.